Do not get intimidated by story questions. It's long, but it's asking about something very simple. So let's look at a look. A model predicts that a certain animal weighed uh, 241 pounds when it was born and that the animal gained three pounds per day in its first year of life. This model is defined by an equation in the form of f of x equals a plus bx, where f of x is the predicted weight in pounds of the animal x days after it was born, and a and b are constants, what is the value of a? Okay, notice how most of that is just math nonsense. The most important thing I've underlined is this equation, which is a linear equation. You have to be able to recognize that. The way I know it is there's an x, but there's no exponent. That usually means we have a line. So what I would do here is say, all right, how does this match up with a normal linear equation? Well, they, the normal linear equation is y equals mx plus b, but you can see that they kind of flipped it here. So this is actually going to be y equals b plus mx. And I know that there's a b in our version and a different b in the version that they gave us. We can't get so locked into the letters that when they switch them on us, we get flustered, okay? It, it, it's just, uh, the letter is arbitrary. We say y equals mx plus b because that's just what we say. Um, what's really happening though with the m and the b is we have a y intercept and a slope. Those are the two things that pretty much define every line. So what they're really asking for, since they're asking for the a, is the y-intercept. Now when we have a story, we don't say y-intercept, but we still use similar language, and this is the benefit of the stories, is that since most of them are lines anyway, we're going to see the same words over and over and over again, and that's good for us. So a slope is going to sound like a rate, an increase or decrease, and a y-intercept is an initial value, a starting point. It, it's, in this case, what is the animal's weight when it's born? The model predicts that a certain animal uh, weighed 241 pounds when it was born. So that's its, its, its zero point, right? So 241 is just our answer here. They're asking for the y-intercept. It's just about knowing how that concept sounds when we put it into a real world story. It's very common that you're gonna have this kind of like initial uh, start, like it's gonna, maybe they don't use those exact words, but it, it's gonna be something that like, here's where it began. Um, because for every y-intercept, the x-coordinate is zero. And in this case, since x is days, what happened on day zero, right? The day it was born. And so that's why this kind of fits. So notice this is a lot of words, but ultimately there's really no math involved. In fact, I would not have shown any work for this question because I, I have all these vocab words memorized. For me, it's just about being like, oh yeah, they want the, the y-intercept, that's this. The only twist here is that instead of doing y equals mx plus b, they flipped the two pieces. And the addition doesn't matter the order. So that's why they were allowed to do this, but that they did on purpose to see if you're paying attention. They know that many of you are gonna just see that first part of a line as the slope and you might put three here. So just be careful. Um, they, they like to do that to see if you're paying attention.